where we learn the word of Jesus Christ with our spiritual leader, Reverend Jimmy Ray. Praise the Lord, Daniel. It's so wonderful to be back here with you again. And viewers out there, isn't it great to see Daniel here growing in the knowledge and the grace and the stature of Jesus Christ? He's becoming more like Jesus. You just look happier every time I'm here visiting with you. Look, you're smiling. Oh, Reverend, you're 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 too nice. Well, it's not you, and it ain't definitely ain't me. It's all Jesus. Jesus Christ in your heart. So, you know what I was thinking today, Daniel? I thought since I usually start in prayer, maybe you should start praying. You want to start to lead us in prayer? All right, I'll, I'll lead us in prayer, Reverend. Shall we join hands? Y'all agree, join hands. Daniel's going to pray to God. Dear Jesus, please help us to learn your word and make this episode of How to Grow as a Christian the best episode that it can be. Amen. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. That's okay. Amen. I forgive you. <laughs> God forgives you. In the name of you pray in Jesus' name. That's okay. Now, do you want to ask me what we're going to talk about, or should I just jump into it? Well, well, why don't you just jump into it, since you already mentioned that you were going to talk about something. Oh, okay. You smart guy. I like to jump, so I'm going to jump right into it. Have you ever heard of a place called Hell, Daniel? No, Reverend. Oh, I think you might have heard of it. But it's a place you and I don't have to worry about going. And y'all viewers out there that don't know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, you better listen closely. Now, you used to be an atheist. Right? That's right, Reverend. You were a phys physicist. Physicist. Last episode, you learned me a new word, physics. Physicist. You used to use that science stuff. Now you got bored again. And you don't have to worry about going to a place called hell. It's a real place, Daniel. I'm sure it is, if, if it's in the Bible. That's the evidence right here in the Holy Book of God, God's Word, the Bible. I'm going to teach your viewers and you quickly about hell. You're not going there, I ain't going there, and I want all y'all out there, hopefully, you'll repent of your sins and get saved from hell. It's a real place, Daniel. Why don't we want to go there? Well, let me read what God says in His Word, and then I think that'll answer your question. Are you ready? I'm ready, Reverend. Now, the first verse I want to read is Matthew chapter 13 in the New Testament. You've been reading your Bible, Daniel? Of course, Reverend. Good. And you've been praying? I pray every day. Good. Talking to the Lord. And don't forget to listen, because He'll talk to you if you listen. Okay? okay? Okay. So, this is what the Lord Jesus Christ said. Matthew 13. And people say, hell ain't real? Oh, yeah? Here's the evidence right here. Chapter 13, verse 42. And, now let me start up here. The Son of Man will send forth, speaking of Jesus. Right. He will send forth his angels. There are angels. Mm -hmm. We know that because it's in the Bible. Okay? Sure. And they will gather out of his kingdom all stumbling blocks and those who commit lawlessness the way you used to be as a sinner. Mm -hmm. You were a sinner, now you're under the grace of God. Verse 42, and will throw them into the furnace of, what's that say? Fire. Say it loud. Fire. Fire. I'm from Texas. I say fire. You say fire, but it's the same word. <laughs> I guess it's the same thing. In the furnace of fire, in that place, there will be, what's it say? Weeping and gnashing of teeth. Weeping and gnashing of teeth. Does that sound like a fun place to be where there's fire around? You're crying, you're weeping, and gnashing your teeth. No, that, that sounds terrible. Now, I was talking to some atheists the other day, tell them about Jesus. And I said, do you want to go where it's a place when you cry and gnash your teeth and fire all around? And they laughed at me. As if it's some crazy thing. How could they laugh at me? It's in the Bible. But And everyone who's lawless will go there. Everyone that don't turn to Jesus Christ, because he is the one who's taken 
all of mankind's sin upon himself when he died on the cross as a sacrifice for all these bad things that we've done. Isn't that great? Okay, what else? Let's keep going here. Jesus said in the Gospel of Mark, chapter 9, verse 43 and 44, right here. If your hand causes you to stumble, cut it off. Ooh, I don't want to get into that one today, but maybe some other time. It is better for you to enter life crippled than having two hands to go into, what's that say? Into hell. Say it loud. Into hell. There. Into hell. Into the what? Unquenchable fire. Unquenchable. When people are dying in hell forever, why are you weeping and gnashing your teeth? It's unquenchable. They're going to say, somebody give me some water. Quench my thirst. I'm hot down here. Too bad. Too late. You had your chance. You know the Moethius guys that were laughing at me the other day? Ha! Huh. They're going to be dying out for quenching of their thirst. Ain't going to be anybody there to answer. Well, hopefully our viewers will understand the importance of this information. Oh, Daniel, we got to get these people saved. And all of yeah. them, they're atheist friends of yours, too. Unquenchable fire. Now, verse 44. Jesus said, Where the worm does not die, and the fire is not quenched. Quenched! It's forever. How would you like to be someplace where there's fire all around you and you hear people going, <laughs> and gnashing their teeth? That's a horrible place. Well, I don't think I'd like that. No. Now, one more verse. i got to keep it quick because sometimes when I preach on Sunday mornings, some of my sheep, you know, sheep are kind of dumb, but Tell my people in my church I said that. Anyway, sheep don't think too good. Some of my people in my church say I preach too long. So I'm going to try to keep it short, okay? Okay. Now, Revelation chapter 21, this guy named Paul, well, sorry, not Paul, John. John was on this island named Patmos. Have you ever read this story yet? No, Reverend. And he was out there all by himself, and God spoke to him, and he wrote this whole thing down called Revelation. Don't read it yet. It's very complicated. Just wait till you're a little bit older in Christ, and you'll understand it. But he talks about heaven and hell. Right here in Revelation 21 and verse 8, it says, But for the cowardly and the unbelieving, like those guys that laughed at me the other day, those atheists, they're unbelieving, and abominable murderers. You ever know anybody that's a murderer? I don't think so. Really. They're out there. There's a lot of them. Yeah. Evil murderers. They need Jesus. Immoral persons. Immoral or sexual deviants. People that have sex outside of marriage. Homosexuals and guys sleeping with other guys' wives. Stuff like that. They're not going to heaven. What you say right here? Sorcerers and idolaters and all liars. You ever know no liar? I hope not, Reverend. It's evil. Their part will be in the lake that burns with fire. Say it loud. Fire. There you go. And brimstone, which is the second death. You and I are going to die eventually. That's the first death. But we're not going to experience the second death because we're going to be with Jesus in heaven forever. Huh. Whew, I was I was worried, Reverend. Those are some uh, some pretty scary verses that you read. So I'm, uh, I'm I'm glad that that we'll be able to avoid it. Yes. And really, there there are more benefits to being a Christian that I didn't understand before. Because not only do you live the the best life with Jesus in your heart, yes. but you avoid a an eternal lake of fire after death. That's right. Wow. Brilliant. You got it. You figured it out. Now, what we got to do is pray for all of them out there that are unbelievers and liars and sexual deviants. We got to pray for them that they'll come to Jesus Christ and those old guy, young guys that laughed at me the other day. That's all. So we got to pray for them so they won't go to the fiery pit where the worm never dies and the fire is not 
quenched. Quenched. We got to help y'all. So if you're watching today, you don't know Jesus Christ, you don't want to be weeping <laughs> and gnashing your teeth forever, well then come to Christ Jesus. You can be happy like Reverend Jimmy Ray and my new friend Daniel. Well, I hope you'll continue to join us as we grow as Christians.